Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this is really good. I really like that T-Mobile is competing. That's what I feel like they needed to do with this merger. They needed to compete. So as you see by the title, T-Mobile looks to millimeter away for private networks. That means for enterprise, T-Mobile is going head to head with Verizon. Again, does that mean that they're going to have the best millimeter wave deployment, the largest millimeter, millimeter wave deployment? No, they just need to compete. Again, at the Super Bowl yesterday, they had millimeter wave at the stadium and then surrounding areas by the stadium, they had N41. Did they have the most millimeter wave deployed? Did they have the fastest network or the best network? Maybe so, maybe not, but they competed. They competed and they gave their users a solid experience. And I think that's what they needed to do with Millimeter Wave. They just needed to compete. They needed to make sure that on the enterprise side that they can compete for businesses that would like to make this a use case for them. So what I mean by that. So again here, just really briefly, Millimeter Wave assets for in-building and private network deployments putting it on trajectory to go head-to-head -head with rival Verizon in the enterprise market. So this could mean that some of the millimeter wave strategy would be for businesses to use it indoors in, you know, select maybe warehouses. It just depends on the business and whatever they want to use as a use case for the millimeter wave. And that's what Verizon has been working towards far longer than any other carrier. So, of course, their millimeter, millimeter wave deployment is at much larger scale. And they've already been working through the big companies to try to get these use cases going, as we saw with, with UPS and, and, and Walmart and AWS with Amazon. So I'm sure there will be more coming from Verizon on that front. But again, T-Mobile has to compete and they're competing. I think they're competing very well. The marketing showed it yesterday at the Super Bowl. They competed there. Now we're seeing them utilizing the millimeter wave networks. Looks like they're competing head to head with rival Verizon. Again, AT&T has not sent a clear message to the market yet as to what they want to do. I'm not saying that they're like super out of focus, but they're not really giving you like, okay, we're going millimeter wave. No, we're going to do this. They're kind of all over the place. So Verizon and T-Mobile have made it very clear that they are pure wireless and they're competing. They made it very clear. T-Mobile has, you could say, changed a few degrees and they've kind of ventured off into media, into the home internet. I think that is perfectly fine. I still think their main goal is pure wireless because the TV is only going to work if they have the home internet. And the home internet is brought to you by the wireless airwaves. So I think that's how they're trying to keep you within the ecosystem. If they're giving you the home internet, they want you to use the T-Vision. If they're giving you the T-Vision, they want you to use the, or they would like you to use the home internet. So they're always wireless first and the home internet will be second. But the home internet is going to be a money driver. I can guarantee it. I, I said it in plenty of videos. I'll say it again. I think it is the biggest revenue driver that T-Mobile is going to have this decade. During this generation of wireless, home internet is going to be huge for them. It's going to be, it's going to be, they're going to be able to penetrate households much faster versus millimeter wave and fiber. Millimeter wave still has to be rolled out. Fiber has to be added to the nodes. The nodes have to be rolled out in in volume because they don't have so such strong penetration and reachability. 2.5, in many cases, I'm hearing now that they're pushing it further. They're opening up the range. So more and more areas and households will very quickly be able to be put within the range of the home internet as they get more of this 2.5 rolled out to, to households, well, to towers, that are nearby neighborhoods and houses. So let me know what you think about this. Again, T-Mobile is staying competitive. I think that's all they need to do. I don't think they have to be the best 
or need to be the best. I just think they need to compete. And that is exactly what they are doing. So let me know in the comment section down below. If you have been on the channel or you are new to the channel and you have not yet liked, share, subscribe, make sure you do so. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload the content. Make sure to follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.